Okay, so I'm at a bridal shower gig. They're drinking their stupid mimosas. <laughs> they really don't want to hear me whine about my miserable marriage or my husband. With that said, I take the gig because I'm desperate for money. If I had money and I was loaded, you wouldn't ever see me do a bridal, bridal shower again, again or a baby, or a baby shower, shower or any of this shit. Comedy is a nighttime thing. At night, you're just relaxed, you're drinking, you have a couple of drinks. Right now, these women are like, they're going to go home and clean their house. I doubt they're going to clean their house because we're in Connecticut. And these women are not cleaning your house. So I take the gig. I just started reading the notes. One of the notes is show rating. My rating is unfiltered. There is no rating for me because I could say cuck. I could say anything could come out of my mouth. I see the show rating and it says PG-18. Now I'm confused. Are there going to be kids in here? Because if there are, they're going to learn about blowjobs today. That's what's going to happen. Today is going to be a crash course. Then it says 45 minute show. You're not getting a 45 minute show. First of all, they have to open up their gifts. But now it's like, don't wrap your gifts because put them in cellophane so we don't have to open the gifts. Well, what the what fuck? fuck? The whole fun of it was opening your gift and going, oh, I got a toaster. Now it's like, listen, bitches. I'm going to go register and I want everything on my registry. Here's the thing. When you invite someone to come to your fucking stupid event. I didn't have a bridal shower, by the way. I, I was too pregnant. There's no reason for you to tell them what to buy you. And if you get 75 toasters, well, so be it. Go and exchange it like they did back in the day. The sound system, I asked him, should I bring my sound system? And he goes, no. They have a sound system. Now, they're probably not going to have a sound. They're going to have like a Toys R Us sound system, which is going to suck. Half the women are going to be talking because I'm really not. I'm really not relevant to their conversation. I need the money. You see my tooth? It's separating from the rest of the teeth. That's because I have to go get it fixed. So I need to take this gig. PG-18. I don't know what that means. So I'm going to say whatever I fucking want. They just bring the comedian in not to laugh because they have no sense of humor. They stand there like this. They're like, that was so funny. They just hire you so they could show to their friends, my shower was so much better than everybody else's. I, on the other hand, I'm going to humiliate myself for 500 bucks. There's got to be a better way. I have to get famous! I don't care anymore. You know what I am now? I've become falling down. Michael Douglas, where he cracks his glasses and he gets out of the car and he starts beating the shit out of everybody. That's what I've become. They're not going to laugh. They're going to stare at me. They're going to give me the money. They're going to be like, you were so funny. You were great. Well, why didn't you laugh if I was great? Why weren't you guys laughing? Why were you guys staring at me? Was I in the same fucking room as these bitches? And I think it's because they don't orgasm. That's what makes a miserable woman. If she can't figure out how to make herself orgasm, the guy's not going to figure it out. So none of these women want to touch themselves because they're like, that's not good. It's not PG-18. I'm going to get my money. I'm going to feel like a prostitute driving all the way home going, I can't believe I just did that. I'm going to cry the whole way home on the hutch. The whole way. I'm going to stop at a Starbucks. I'm going to get myself a latte. And I'm going to forget about this ever happened. Uh, I hope you all went to church. And you're all uh, sorry for all your sins that you, that you did all week. All right, goodbye.